Lakota West High School where today we have a fifth grade game between the Edgewood Cougars and the Lakota Tomahawks. Going through player presentation right now. We have a beautiful sunny day here at Lakota West. A nice 48 degrees so with some wind I don't think there'll be much passing but uh, a lot of running. Nice day. No, no bad weather. We'll be playing 25 minute running halves on the clock today. Go through the uh, Edgewood Cougars roster real quickly here. Number one is Brandon Cox. Number two is Hunter Fake. Number three is Hunter Gage. Number four is Parker Ratliff. Number five is Jarrett Ferris. Number six is Nitrick Ashcraft. Number seven, Sammy Huff. Number eight, Landon Howell. Number nine, Nolan Boyle. Number 10, Carson Rupp. Number 11, Anthony Scott. Number 12, Jamie Farley. Number 13, Joss Sosa. Number 14, Dylan Smith. Number 15, Jaden Carter. Number 16, Rhino Thomas. And number 17, Caden Rupp. So they have 17 players. We'll call out the jersey numbers as we get through the game. So 38, that's Jamie Farley from Edgewood. Josh Sousa, 45. Number 50, Dylan Smith. Number 80, Jaden Carter. And now for your Lakota Tomahawks, fifth grade white, team number 14. Number one, Bryce Bontrager. Number seven, Cole Barella. Number 10, Carter Sherman. Number 15, Eric Hatfield. Number 16, Kobe Horn. Number 18, Will Edkins. Number 20, Jack Shepard. Number 23, Trevor Oswald. Number 24, Troy Dilly. Number 37, Billy Bear. Number 
number 47, Nathan Garrison. Number 66, Stephen Addison. We got 85. This is 85, Aiden Brillhart. And number 88, Jacob Marahard. And that is your Lakota Tomahawks, fifth grade white. We are running 25 continuous minute clocks, <coughs> as previously stated. No coaches on the field for fifth grade. Two halves, 25 minutes. The Edgewood Cougars wear the white pants, the white jerseys, and navy blue helmets, while Lakota Tomahawks are wearing the black pants, the white jerseys, and the black helmets today. Did you happen to see the coin toss? No. Be calling captains here shortly, it looks like. Referees are here. Head coach for Lakota Tomahawks is Fred Bontrager. Third year coach. Spent time with Fred before the game. Looking forward to this game. Kind of an invitational. So this will be the last game of the year, I believe, for both teams. And our captains, we have uh, number 24, Dilly. Number 18, Edkins. And number 85, Brillhart for the Lakota Tomahawks. Looks like we're running the three-man umpire system today. Coaches for the uh, Lakota Tomahawks, we have uh, Coach Fon Traeger, Coach Dilly, Coach Edkins, Coach o Oswald, Coach Burla, Coach Sherman, and Coach Brillhart. Looks like the Cougars may have won the toss. Uh, looks like Lakota West has elected to receive. So Lakota w Lakota Tomahawks will be going from uh, right to left on your TV screen. We'll be starting here at the 35-yard line shortly. Fifth grade, there's no kickoff, so they will assume the first snap, first, first and 10 on the 30 or 35 here. So we have the Lakota Tomahawks on offense. Starting at the 35-yard line. Just getting the chains in place. First and 10 from the 35. Looks like Troy Dilly is going to be the quarterback today. Got uh, Will Edkins lined up in the backfield. Waiting to get the game clock going. All right, pitch to the right to Edkins. Looks like he's got about a three-yard gain. He'll bring up uh, second and seven for the Lakota Tomahawks. Troy Dilly getting the play call from Coach Von Traeger. Tomahawks huddling up. Wide receiver split to the left. Edkins in the backfield, Dilly under center. Pitch left. Pitch left to Edkins. Nice move. 
could have been a loss in the backfield by 32 from Edgewood. Uh, nice. Pick up about a yard there. That was a nice job by uh, the defensive end there to turn it inside. Yep. Be number what? 80, Jaden Carter there. Got about a third and seven here. You got Bryce and Will Edkins in the backfield. Looks Two receivers. Like Edkins gonna take track snap. Or Billy. Billy pass. Pass. Uh, just off the hands. So number 18, Will Edkins there. It would have been good for first down. This is a little too far out. Let's see if the uh, Tomahawks uh, elect to punt or go for this. In their own half. So far, it looks like good protection from the line. Troy really did have some time back in the pocket that time. That was nice. Yeah. So our line, we've got uh, Hatfield, Sherman, Brilla, Brillhart. Marhard, we've got two wide receivers split to the right. They're going to go for it, fourth and yeah. seven here. Looks like a pass play. A low, low snap. snap. Nice pick up by Billy. Pass nice out to uh, Addison. Addison for the first down and out of bounds. Very nice catch and run by uh, Steven Addison there around the right-hand side. Nice throw after a low snap. I think center is uh, Hatfield 15 for this game. Very nice play. So we have first down on uh, Lakota's 42, it looks like, first and 10. 22 minutes remain in the first half, continuous clock. Got Bryce Bontrager lined up in the backfield. Number one. Drop the middle. Pick up of about two yards. It's now second down on Lakota 49, second and eight. Yep, looked like the tackle was 38 on that. Jamie Farley and had a bunch of uh, Cougars help him out on that. Looks like uh, Edgewood's running a five-man front. Trying to stop the run. Again, looks like we're splitting uh, Lakota. Tomahawks have split out two wide receivers to the right with Bontrager in the backfield. Two wide receivers to the left. Bryce in motion. Troy Dilly right up the middle, over center. Picks up a couple yards to the uh, Edgewood 47 yard line. Nice tackle. Was that number 12 on that play? I believe it was number 12. Okay. Do not have a jersey for 12. If it was 13, it would be Jarrett Ferris or Parker Ratliff, 11. We go third and four for the Tomahawks. Third and four, third Spread and five. once again. Yep. Two receivers left to the right. Shotgun. Low snap. Low snap again. Dilly falls on it, recovers. Looks like a loss of three or four. Bring up about fourth and eight, fourth and nine. They went for it last time, probably picked up 12. Edward, Edward was right there through the line, top yeah. of Dilly, right as he fell on the ball. Yeah, it looked like uh, it's number 80 off the right side of the line. That's Jaden Carter for the Cougars. Came in unevaded. Spread again. Nice snap pass to Steven Addison Beautiful. for the catch. Beautiful Ed catch. Nice, very nice catch by Steven Addison on the Edgewood 40. Yes, through Pick traffic. Up. Yeah, picked up about uh, 12 yards on the play. Looked like they had two wide receivers in the same area, but uh, the first one picked that up. Nice throw, nice pick. Very good coverage as well. So Lakota Tomahawks showing a uh, completely new look here in the, in the, in the bye week with the uh, spread offense. Uh, 
back in the power formation now. Okay. Dilly under center. Dilly keeps it around the corner on the right hand side. Nice tackle by I think number 32. That would be Anthony Scott on the tackle for no gain. Quarterback keeper, sweep right. We have no score. Uh, the code is zero, Edgewood zero right now. No, your screen shows 14. We play a continuous clock. We've got 14, 18.45 left in the first half. Dakota has been on a long drive, had two first downs. Shotgun snap to Dilly, pass out to Steven Addison off his fingers. Would have been a pickup of about three, still uh, second and about nine and a half from the uh, Edgewood 40. Looks like uh, the Cougars are dialing up some pressure. Last couple plays, they've had uh, some people penetrating the line. And as I said before, Lakota has converted uh, two fourth downs on both passes. I guess they'll probably go to the spread again. No, not this time. We had uh, Will, Will Edkins split to the left. Normally in this formation, you'll see a, an out route by him. It's coming around the left side. Got a block, got to get around that corner. Didn't quite make it. No, number 32 on the tackle there is Anthony Scott. Brought him down from behind. Looks like they lost about a yard. It's going to be uh, fourth and 11 from the uh, 41 of uh, Edgewood. Yep. So far, the last, uh, last two fourth down plays have gone to number 66, Steven a Addison. On the left hash mark, a lot of lot of space to the right side again. Spread offense to the left, to the right. Von Trager off the side of Troy Dilly, quarterback. Snap, pass left to Brillhart. Off his fingers, good right there. Good defense by number 32. Anthony Scott got there right when the ball got there. So Tomahawks turned the ball over on the Cougar 41. It'll be first and 10, Edgewood Cougars from the 41. Into the game on defense, number 47, Nathan Garrison. So at corner, we have Jake Sheffer at corner. Looks like we have number 47, Nathan Garrison at safety. Brillhart at left corner. Adkins at linebacker, Braun Traeger linebacker, Kobe Horn at right linebacker. Edgewood takes a snap under center. Going around the right side, cuts it in off the, the right tackle. Nice tackle there by uh, 66, Stephen Addison for the Tomahawks. Looks like a pickup of about uh, four yards for Edgewood to the uh, Edgewood 45. Yep. Brings up second down and six. Yeah, they had some uh, good pressure there, found a hole. You have up top on the line, Lakota Tomahawks were on a three-man front with Sherman, Hatfield, and Barilla, and outside linebackers, Marhog, and Addison. Addison made that tackle off the left side. He did a really nice job of turning it, keeping it inside. Looks like a blitz up the middle. 32 around the left, off yep. left tackle. Uh, it looked like Von Traeger made the blitz up the middle and, and clipped him there, brought him down. A little bit of a loss. Looks like Maharg was in on the tackle also. Mm -hmm. Brings up third and seven for Edgewood. They lost one on that play. Quarterback number 11, Parker Ratcliffe. Looks like under center. Gonna take it like a snap. Motion. Number 80 off the left side. Yep, he gets stacked up on the line. By a host of Tomahawks on the tackle there. Aiden Carter on the run. Looks like uh, 88 Marhog on the 
in on the tackle with a number of other Tomahawks on the right side of the line. Cole Barella. So that leaves us with fourth and about six or seven with 14 minutes left in the half. Score 0-0 zero, zero between Lakota and Edgewood right now. So far, Edgewood's kept it on the ground. We'll see what they do here with uh, fourth and six on their own approximately 45-yard line. Maybe they'll spread it out and throw a pass. Quarterback under center. Looks like a blitz. Number one, Bontrager, Bontrager up the middle. Uh, fumbled yep. snap there. Quarterback drop falls on it. So Lakota Tomahawks have a uh, very effective first drive on defense. 47 Garrison coming out as the offense goes back on the field. So uh, nice change of possession for the uh, Tomahawks. 24 Dilly in with the play. About the midway through the first half here, 13 minutes to play. Bontrager in the backfield. Spread offense again. Nice Dip. snap. Dilly drops back to pass. Throws a long ball to, uh, is that number 16 or 18? Atkins? 18. 18, Will, Will Atkins. Atkins. Yeah. Probably uh, held the ball a little too long. I think Will was ready for it could have run down the field. So uh, a lot of passing so far today. I'd say more passing than, uh, than running on the ground. So we'll see what uh, Coach Bontrager uh, calls in here. And looks like the uh, power back offense here. Dilly under center. And off the one, Bontrager up the middle. He's got a lot of room there. Very nice run for Bryce Bontrager. Kept those feet moving. Picked up about six yards, seven yards to the Edgewood 37-yard line. Brings up uh, third and four uh, for Lakota, uh, Lakota Tomahawks. Code of choosing to uh, huddle up and use some of the clock in this game. Keep it on the ground. They come to the line again in a spread offense. They've had a lot of success on fourth down doing this. We've got third and four, third and three. Direct handoff again. Von Trager up the middle. Picked up maybe a yard or two to the 36. Brings up fourth down for the Code of Tomahawks. Fourth and three. So far, the uh, the run plays up the middle, and the passing's been effective for the Tomahawks. Uh, we haven't seen much sweep. A lot of room left and right as the uh, look like we're on the right hash mark here. A little different formation. One wide receiver to the left. Quarterback keeper to the left side. Turns it up the field. It's going to be close. I think he's short by probably a yard. Tackle, tackle by number one from Edgewood. That's uh, Brendan Cox. The tackle. So back into the game, we have number 47, Nathan Garrison. Number 37, Billy Bear. Number 23, Trevor Oswald coming in on defense as the Tomahawks turn the ball over. But again, if made some positive yardage and keep moving Edgewood back, we'll see if they can shut them down here, get a uh, conversion. Edgewood starting on their own 35, 10 minutes to play in the half. 0-0 zero, zero in this score against Lakota and Edgewood, fifth grade white. Number 11, Parker Ratliff under center. Hand off 32, Around left, the left side of the line. Turned it up. Very yeah. nice tackle there. Yeah. Number 10, Carter Sherman with some help from number 66, Steven Addison. Stayed home on the backside, made the tackle when the cutback was made. Good job by the Tomahawks uh, front right side, keeping that play inside. 
Yeah, Jacob Mahar stepped out there on the on the on the outside to turn it back in, and uh, certainly we had some good penetration from the uh, defensive line. Stayed home, made the tackles. Nice job. Be a loss of about one for the Cougars, so we've got second and eleven on the thirty-nine yard line. Number eleven again in shotgun formation. Parker Ratliff in motion, handoff to the right. 30 in motion, handoff. There we go. Ran right into the arms of 66, Stephen Addison. We've called his name a lot today. A couple more uh, Tomahawks, number 10, number 18. That Sherman and Edkins on the play. They came over uh, Oswald on the left side as well. Stephen looking good, too, in the, in the throwback jersey. <laughs> yeah. So we're on the close to the right hash mark here. Cougars are moving quickly. They have third and nine. Tomahawks are loading the right side of the line, anticipating a run. That's the direction it goes. It looks like a reverse. Left side. Steve Aston stayed home, turned yes, it inside. Yes, he did. Did a very nice job there. Again, looked like they ran a reverse motion going to the left side, handed off to a, looked like a wide receiver coming back. Addison, Brillhart. And left side, Oswald, Sherman all stayed home, made the tackle. It was Nolan Boyle on the run, number 30, I believe. Yeah. So we've got fourth and seven. It's interesting. Nolan's now It center. looks like we're in punt formation. Yes. A little bit of confusion with the Cougars, but they are lined up in punt formation. I think they had 12 on the field. Who we got back for the we return We have uh, 47, here. Nathan Garrison on the return. See the rush, punt. get there, oh, punt. Got it off. They're going to let it just uh, fall down. It's going to stop about the uh, 38 of the Dakota Tomahawks. Number 30, uh, Nolan Boyle made the uh, touch there. So it'll be first and 10 for the Dakota Tomahawks on their own 38-yard line. We have no score between Lakota and Edgewood with seven minutes to go in the half. We're running a continuous clock. So, so far... Edgewood offense has had uh, two possessions, two four and outs, and uh, Lakota's had three possessions or and uh, three or four first downs probably yeah. today. Looks like Billy's in the shotgun. Von Traeger to his left. Two wide receivers split left. Edkins and Shepard. Low snap penetration. Low throw to Brillhart on the left side, 85. For Edgewood, number, uh, looks like 39, 38, 30, 38 for Edgewood. Had some penetration there, put some pressure on Billy in the backfield. Yeah, that's Jamie Farley. Looks like the uh, Lakota Tomac line is, uh, needs to do a little bit better job blocking, get some snaps up for Billy. Been a couple low snaps. Yeah, I'm not sure where he came from, whether he was on a blitz or whether he was on the line there, but uh, he certainly put some pressure on Dilly there, hurried his pass, threw it a little bit low to Brillhart. Second and 10, shotgun formation again. Rolling right, rolling right, throw to Ooh. Addison again, number 66, makes a nice stop and go move, has the first down and out of bounds. That looks looks like the play they ran earlier on fourth down and, and picked up uh, first down once again with that same play, seems to be real effective. Excellent run after the catch by Steven Addison. Very nice throw. Looks like uh, Steven's got three receptions so far for about 30 yards, 28, 30 yards on the game so far. We have about five minutes and 20 seconds left in the first half. Steven's so coming out of a tight end position. Yes. The spread offense is working well. Looks like we're going back to uh, – Another same formation, spread offense. Addison to the right with Shepard to the right, Ed Edkins and Brillhart to the left. It's really given uh, the Cougars some issues. It looks like they're going to bring pressure on this play. Rice in motion. Oh, quarterback keeper Dilly right up the center for about three yards, it looks like. It's going to bring up uh, second down and seven on the Edgewood 47 with about just under five minutes remaining in the game. Uh, they're going to need to get some plays and, and speed up the tempo here if they're going to get down the field prior to the end of the half. Yeah, it looks like they're going to – the Cougars will get the first possession of the second half, so it looks like the Tomahawks are going to try to clock manage this down and, and uh, 
finish with no time on the clock if they can. Second and seven from the 47, let's call it. Spread offense again. Von Traeger in the backfield. Dilly under center. Quarterback keeper up the middle. Consistent. Another three or four yards for Troy Dilly. Tackle by uh, number 30 for Edgewood. Uh, Nolan Boyle on the play again. Heard that name a few times today. Nolan's been very active for the Cougars. The uh, Tomahawks choosing to huddle up with three minutes and 45 seconds left in the half. Continuous clock. Ball on the, let's call it the 44 of Edgewood. Looks like pressure defense coming. Hand off up the middle to Braun Traeger. Nice run looks by like Bond Traeger past the 40 yard line for a first down. That'll move the chains. Tackle by, looks like 38 there for. Uh, That's Jamie Edgewood. Farley again. He's been very active, probably four or five tackles so far in the game. He's coming from the nose guard position. We'll see if the uh, Cougars dial up more pressure. It looks like they're content to lay back and allow the Tomahawks to uh, make some short progress and allow the clock to run down. Von, Von Traeger, Traeger handoff up the middle. He's still on his feet. Got nice them hit. feet moving. Wow, nice run by uh, Von Traeger. Tackle by uh, 13. Number 13, that would be Jarrett Ferris again, another tackle. Looks like Von Traeger sh shed about three or four off of that. Yeah, it looked like he was going to be stopped at the line there. Yeah, he made a nice cutback move. Picked up five yards. We're now at the 34-yard the, uh, line of Edgewood. Two minutes, 25 seconds to play in the half. Second down and five. It took a quick timeout, but it did not stop the clock. So we have coaches on the field for the Cougars providing water while the clock runs. A little different rules. We normally play uh, four eight-minute quarters with three timeouts a half. So we're about two minutes left in the first half. Ball on the 34-yard line for second and six, as it looks like. Dealing the shotgun, spread, drops back to pass, gets the ball up. Oh, nice. Just off the hands of number 20, Jake Shepard. Nice pass, a little bit high, do what he could to bring it down. Number 30, nice defense for Edgewood on the play. Has hands on the ball or near the ball, that's for sure. Yeah, a lot of traffic. It's Dolan Boyle once again. Farley and Boyle have called their name a lot in the first half here. So we're under a, a minute and 24 seconds to go in the first half. No score. Tomahawks and shotguns. Spread. Brillhart with the catch. Nice pass by Troy Dilly to, to Aiden Brillhart to the 30-yard line. Just short of a first down, I believe. Yeah, it looks like he ran a little curl. So no, they're going to move the chains, I believe. Uh, gave him the first down. We're under a minute left and a half. Tomahawk's fifth grade white. Back in the shotgun, pass again to Brillhart. Ooh, broken up. Almost Once again, 32. 32. Anthony Scott on the play for Edgewood. Nice job. 45 seconds left to go. Running clock. Let's go to Tomahawks. Hurry into the line. Try to get off another play or two here. Oh, just off the hands of number 14. Nietrich Ashcraft playing corner on the right side, almost intercepted. 25 seconds. Trying to get one play off. 20 seconds before the half dealing the shotgun. Drops back. Long pass off oh. the hands of Edkins at the 15-yard line of Edgewood. I'm not sure they're going to get off another play here. No, that was a very good throw. Very good call. We had Edkins out left. Had he brought that in, he might have had a chance to get in the end zone. That's Just it. continuous clock, no timeouts. It's difficult. So that's the end of the half. 0-0, zero, zero, Lakota and Edgewood. Fifth grade, white. So far, uh, some, some definite good, uh, a lot of plays. I'd say it's probably about 25 plays to about eight for Lakota, white Tomahawks. They've, uh, they've moved the ball quite well. Out the timeouts, uh, un unable to manage that clock. So, no score just yet, but they've moved the ball quite well. Second half, we'll have Edgewood.
Welcome back again to Lakota West Football Stadium today. We have a game between the Edgewood Cougars and Lakota Tomahawks White, team number 14, fifth grade. Got a nice, bright, sunny day here. Very windy. About 48 degrees at game time. And uh, despite the wind, we've had a lot of passing today, surprisingly. Nice November Sunday for some football. So far, score is 0-0 between Edgewood and Lakota Tomahawks. Both teams have uh, had a, a number of possessions. Edgewood's had about two, f two four and outs, and uh, Lakota's moved the ball for a couple first downs on each one and came up short. We're playing a 25-minute continuous clock, and then we're getting ready to start the second half. Lakota Tomahawks will be on defense. But uh, they moved the ball real well that last drive and just uh, came up short with no timeouts. They sure did. And certainly Lakota Tomahawks today, they probably have 50% 50, 50 of their yards today in the air, even with this wind, uh, doing a nice job with, with uh, the passing game. Edgewood's been primarily keeping the ball on the ground thus far. Getting ready to start the second half here, 25-minute running clock. I think Edgewood actually won the toss at the beginning of the game, but elected to uh, take the ball in the second half. Number 11 in her center. Looks like uh, loose handoff bobble there. Number 30 with the run. Pick up about two yards. Well that is done by Nolan Boyle. It looked like 11 took the ball in her center with some misdirection, tossed the handoff on, caught it on the side of his helmet, and uh, ended up making two yards on that. Number 30 wearing the uh, throwback helmet with the uh, Looks like pink for uh, breath kits or awareness month. For Edgewood. Second and eight, Edgewood on the uh, Edgewood 37 yard line. Shotgun snap, bobble snap. by the quarterback. He lays down on it. That'll be a loss of uh, four, it looks like, for the Cougars. Brings up third and 13, 14 for Edgewood. Hurry into the line, that's for sure. Unless they are quick on offense. So, number 11 again, Parker Ratliff in center. Number 80 behind him, Jaden Carter. Looks like it might be a blitz, we'll see. Yes, Braun Traeger up the middle, putting some pressure on the quarterback. Off the hands of uh, number eight, that'd be uh, Hunter Bake. Good throw. A lot of pressure up the middle. And uh, Lakota Tomahawks had two, got penetration, didn't see their numbers, but really caused uh, the Cougars to throw that ball quickly. It looks like they're bringing in the punt formation here again. Tomahawk's been preparing for a fake on this punt, so they are not going to go back and receive this. Looks like they'll put pressure up the middle and try to get a block. Looks like Anthony Scott might be the punter. Uh, it, it is blocked. blocked. It is blocked. It is blocked. Wow. Carter Sherman picks it up. Uh, and he was thinking about six on that one. He doesn't <laughs> get to carry the ball. <laughs> he was. It's going to be uh, first and ten for the code on the 28, 29 yard line of the Edgewood Cougars. Yep. I didn't see who blocked it. Certainly Carter came up with it. He, he looked right away to, uh, to rumble in, but uh, too much traffic for him. Weighing in at uh, 143 pounds, he doesn't get to carry the ball here in this league. We have a couple kids uh, on the team with our rules in this league that uh, you get to carry if you're under a certain weight limit, but everybody gets to play. So the Tomahawks with first and 10 on the 29-yard line of the Cougars. Looks like they're spreading it out again here in the second half. Dilly under center, Bontrager in motion to the right. Dilly, Dilly keeps, keeps the keeps keeper. It. Looks like they were looking for that. Picked up a couple there, two, three yards. Bring up second and eight for uh, Lakota Tomahawks. Yeah, they certainly, they ran that play several times in the first half. Looks like Edgewood's catching on to the, the quarterback keeper up the middle. They had much more pressure that time. It looks like every time that uh, Dilly goes under center, it's a keeper, and, and when he stays in shotgun, he's been going to 66, Stephen Addison here on the right side. 
spread again. We've got Shepard and Addison to the right side. Edkins and Burlhardt to the left side. Von Traeger off of the uh, left hand of the quarterback, Dilly. Second down. Edgewood bringing some pressure this time. Pass. Collision between Shepard, 20, and 30. Boyle. Good coverage by Boyle is sneaking over. Had he not, it looked like Shepard might have caught that and might have had a pass to some more yards, if not the end zone. So yeah, Boyle had a nice defensive play there, right there as the ball showed up. Yeah, as a safety, he did his job coming over and made that hit. Could have been targeting. Von Traeger calls the play into uh, Dilly. Dakota Tomax White huddling up, 0 0 game. 20 minutes left in the second half. Looks like we got about third and eight. Okay, Edkins in the backfield this time. Dilly under center, fumbles the snap. He falls. It looks like they're gonna they're gonna count him down. So he fell on it, probably for a, a loss. We're gonna have fourth and nine. Yeah, number 80 for uh, Edgewood right there. Uh, Jaden Carter. Jaden Carter covered it up. Fourth and ten for the Tomahawks. 28-yard line at Edgewood. Let's see if they can come up with, what, their third, fourth down conversion of the game. I'd be looking for a pass to Steven Addison on the right-hand side, especially since we're on the left hash. See if Ed Edgewood covers that play. Shepard Addison to the right. Edkins, Brillhart out to the left. Bontrager in the backfield. Shotgun snap to Dilly. Drops back the pass. A lot of pressure. Big throw. Oh. Off the hands oh. of Shepard. Intercepted. Tip by drill number. right there. Yeah. Wow. Intercepted by number, uh, let's see it, uh, 16. 16. That is Sammy Huff with the interception off the hands of Shepard. A lot of pressure on that. Uh, the Cougars are really getting to the quarterback in that spread offense right now. Yeah, and, and certainly the Edgewood secondary is picking up the pace. They've, they're making the hit right there as the ball is delivered. Timed it just right. So we've got uh, second half, fifth grade, Lakota Tomahawks white. 19 minutes ago in the second half, Edgewood Cougars have the ball on their own 22. And Lakota Tomahawks on defense. Number 11 under center again, Parker Ratliff. Looks like uh, Lakota's putting, gonna put some pressure, possibly, a, yeah, there was yep. a blitz there. 17 around the right-hand side. Ooh, try to make the tackle. He's moving. He's moving. Wow. Wow, he's fast, too. He could go all the way. Yeah, and that's got number 17, Layden Howe. Long run, no flags, a lot of broken tackles in the backfield. Probably three or four Lakota Tomahawks had him in the grass. There is some flag on the fi a flag on the field. Looks like we are calling it back. I didn't see where the flag got thrown. It's out here about the 30-yard line. It's after he... He's coming around the left side. I didn't, don't know what the call is. Yeah, it could have been from the spot of the foul. So there was a tomahawk that got turned around late. But again, what was probably a four-yard loss in the backfield, there were a number of tomahawks that blew that play up and then just did not wrap them up. Yeah, Great look, run. Looks like Coach Edkins is talking to the D there. Uh, I'm sure he's not real happy with the tackling there on the play in the backfield. Had a chance to actually tackle Edgewood for a loss probably a five to seven yards and uh, just couldn't hang on to him. So uh, they got lucky there. That was a great run by Landon Howe. He got spun around a couple times, avoided some tackles, swept it out to the left and ran probably 80 yards. And uh, he's going to get that call back on there. We did not get the number on the hold. But that will bring up second and eight from the 20, it looks like. see if uh, the Cougars go back to the same sort of play formation. I don't think they have thrown the ball yet. Two offset running backs. No wide receivers. Coming around this uh, left, side, left side, end. cuts it up towards the tackle. Uh, Jacob yep. Mahar started the tackle there, finished off by several uh, Tomahawks. Yep, we had just short of the first down. Oswald in on that, Edkins in on that, Horn in on that on the, the right side. So 
Nice play by the Cougars. Looks like they had a fullback running out in front of them. And we've got second short, maybe second in the yard. Actually, I think it's uh, third. Third. It'll be third. Yeah, I don't think he's flipped it yet. So we've got about 16 minutes to go in the second half. Continuous clock. I think uh, the Cougars are content to continue running. A lot of motion. Hand up went up the middle. Good sell by the quarterback on a reverse. Nice pick up by the Cougars. Looks like they'll have first down on the 34 yard line. Nice run by uh, number 80, Jaden Carter for the Cougars. Looks like the uh, Tomahawks are looking for the uh, defensive play call, whether the blitz. I think they're content to stay back. Number one, Bontrager looks like he's going to sneak up in. Here comes the blitz. Some pressure. Boyle yep. around the right-hand side. Boyle again. Nice, nice spin run there. Yep. Spin move off the outside. Cut it back in. Tackle by, uh, looks like, uh, Will Edkins maybe. Yep. Pick up about four yards for Boyle to their 37-yard uh, line of the Cougars. Brings up second down. 23 coming out, Trevor Oswald. Edgewood hustling to the line again. 15 minutes left to play in the second half, running clock. Yep. Shotgun. Motion again, up the middle. middle. Number 80 again, Jaden. Pushes up to about, uh, stays on his feet to the uh, Edgewood 43 for a pickup of about five yards. Looks like Hatfield was in on that tackle along with Brillhart and Garrison. Cougars gone to the run game, been very effective this drive. Had their first first down of the game on this drive. Had a eight yard touchback, or touchdown call back not too long ago. Third and three. Let's see if Edgewood can convert the first down here. Looks like Tomax have not changed defense. Lone safety, Garrison in the backfield. Oh, coming around the left side, uh, around the end. Couple people trying to make the tackle there. Bryce Bontrager yep. blitz, got him in the backfield, but couldn't hang on. Yep. Uh, who finished him off? I didn't see that. No, it looked like uh, Hatfield and Horn maybe on the, the right side. Bontrager had him for about a four-yard loss. Did it? Did his best to hold on. Still ended up being a two-yard loss for the Tom for the Tomox. Did a good job on that. Looks like we've got fourth down. Don't think they're punting. Number 32 punted last time. That was Anthony Scott. So would appear to be a punt formation. The Cougars are still running well, people on. It looks like he's going to punt. Yep. It is a low snap again. It is blocked, blocked again, again. And, and oh, it is to Addison, number 66. Addison. He is caught running it. it back. Wow, he's got some wheels. Special teams touchdown, Steven Addison off the block punt. Tom Ox score. It is a 7-6-0 game right now. First score of the game with 12.59 left. Steven Addison's having a heck of a game both on offense and on defense. That punt was blocked. I didn't get uh, to see who blocked it there, but certainly blocked it, went up in the air. Stephen caught it in the air. Looked to run it in. Yeah, so far we've had uh, two blocks uh, on the punt. This was a very low punt off the center. Quite honestly, the Anthony Scott, number 32 for the Cougars, did not have a, a, a real clear shot to get that punt off. Great penetration from a number of Tomahawks. Stephen Addison collecting out of the air, had the width to spin, run it in. So Stephen's Got a defensive touchdown and three receptions and 30 yards so far. I'd have to call him the player of the game so far. Looks like Tom Ox are lining up for the two-point conversion. Let's see if Dilly goes under center. Dilly goes in our center, Bontrager in our backfield. Shepard up right, Garrison to the right. So Bontrager up the middle. Up the middle. Oh, he's got to lower his head. He gives him the two oh, points. Oh, he did get in. Yes, he did. He got the ball across the plane of the goal. That'll move the score to 8 nothing. Lakota 
Tomahawks team number 14 against the Edgewood Cougars with 11 and a half minutes left in the second half. Cougars will get the ball first and 10 on their 35 yard line. Nice run there up the middle. Not often you see number one Bontrager get stood up, but he, uh, he had enough to get it in over the line. Nice hole there through the middle on the right side. Good blocking from uh, Hatfield. Morella, Horn all on the right side. I think Garrison was on that right side. Edgewood coming down. They're fired up here. They've got about 11 minutes left on a running clock, starting at their 35, first and 10. Shotgun snap. No shot. Up the, the middle, middle number again. 80. Number 80 again. Jaden Carter. Yeah, he's going to pick up four yards. Tackled by uh, Horn and Atkins on the tackle again. Yeah, looks like it. it. Looks like Oswald came up from the safety position. Carter and got Sherman in on, in on the tackle too. Four yards. Bring up second and six. Ten and a half minutes left in the game. See if Lakota could get a stand here. Shotgun. Boil in motion. Up the uh, he middle. Fumbled fumbled. It. Fa it looks like a tomahawk fell fumbled. on that. Tomahawks are saying they they picked it up. It's number 10. They did. Carter Sherman with the recovery. It looked like it just was a, uh, a mishandle on the snap. Shot for it about four feet. Got fallen on by uh, by number 10. Tomahawks convert. First first down on the 40-yard line for the Tomahawks. So far, defense has been stellar. I think they've only given up one or two first downs to the uh, Cougars. Done a real nice job today. They've really been putting some pressure in the backfield, getting through the line there. Multiple tackles for a loss today for the Tomahawks. Now they're on offense. Got one wide receiver to the right, Sheffer, and Braun Traeger offset. Edkins in the backfield, Dillander center. Center Toss out to right. Edkins. Coming around the right-hand side, Boyle coming up strong from the defensive safety position. Tackled by number 50 and number, number 32. And number 50 is Dylan Smith, and 32 again, Anthony Scott. As you mentioned, Nolan read that from the safety position right away. Made contact almost at the line of scrimmage. Two-yard gain, one-yard gain. See if they call 66 again. He's had a pretty good game so far. Got him in on the right side of the line. Moving number 20, Shepard, the left side. Out wide. Billy's under center. Up the middle of Bontrager. Looks like they smothered that. A little bit of a, a quick snap there. Didn't get a uh, firm hold of the ball, but uh, the Cougars did a good job grouping that up. Tackled by uh, Boyle and Anthony Scott on the play. Number 30 and 32 have had a, their name called a lot today. Very active. We've got third and seven for the Tomahawks with eight minutes to go in the game. Let's see if they go to the spread offense or if they, they keep it on the ground. Looks like they'll keep it on the ground potentially. Got one wide receiver to the left, Sheffer. Dilly under center again. Bontrager to the right, Adkins in the backfield. Dilly keeper around the left side, tries to turn it up in between the tackles, but certainly tackled for a loss. Loss of about three yards. It looked like we had 32 in on that tackle for the Cougars, Anthony Scott, number one, Brendan Cox. So fourth and 10 from the 40. Time after the Tomahawks. Figuring out what to do here in a fourth and 10 situation. Seven and a half minutes left in the game. See if the Tomahawks 14, team 14, fifth grade Lakota Tomahawks white. See if they can hold on this eight point lead, eight nothing against Edgewood Cougars. Sunday afternoon, Tomahawks heading back out under seven minutes to go in this game, second half. So if they choose to do, Will Atkins looks like they've lined up in punt formation. Will Atkins is the punter for the Tomahawks. Boyle back 
uh, low snap fumble. And but a Adkins punt, a pooch punt. It's going to roll a little bit here. And it is down. Touchdown by Dilly on the 17-yard line of Edgewood. Yes. Nice job by uh, Will Edkins on the punt. Low snap. He managed to hang on to it and get himself some space and pooch punt it down. Pick up about, uh, let's see, maybe about 25, 30-yard punt for Will Edkins. A lot of times you'll see uh, a legal man downfield on that, but uh, Tomahawks were fortunate that uh, Will was able to sidestep those two defenders and get that punt off. So that gives the Cougars six minutes to need, with a continuous clock to uh, need to drive the length of the field here. It'll be first and 10 from the 18. Tomahawks D has been uh, quite good with the exception of one, one play, which was called back for a hold that went 80 yards for a touchdown. So. Uh, Let's see if they can uh, shut him down here. Number 11 again in the uh, quarterback shotgun. Motion. Ooh, fumbled snap. Fumbled snap. There might be a Balls tomahawk on, the ground. on that. Tomahawks are celebrating. Ten. It is tomahawk ball again. Is that number number 10 with the ball or number 15? It looks like Hatfield came up with that ball. Number 15 and 10, Sherman and Hatfield. Hatfield came up with the uh, fumble recovery on the Cougars 10, it looks like. 10 or 14. Very unfortunate for the Cougars. Dilly comes in with the play again. Looks like it'll be first and 10 from the 14 yard line with five minutes to go in the game. Let's see if the Tomahawks can punch this in before the end of the end of the game here. Hustle into the line, trying to get get some plays. Prior to the end here, Dilly under center, it looks like. Up the middle of Von Traeger. Pick up two, maybe. One, maybe two yards. Tackle by 32 and 13. Called 32 name a lot. That's Anthony Scott, 13. Jarrett Ferris for the Cougars on that tackle. Cougars have substitution number eight coming into the game. Hunter Bake. Second nine. Dilly under center. Hand off to Bryce. Von Traeger up the middle. He picks up one or two. Edgewood stops him, stands him up. Uh, looks like it's going to be about uh, third and Seven from the Edgewood 11 yard line. Yep. Tomahawks choosing to huddle up. Three and a half minutes left in the game. Run the clock down. There's third and seven. We'll see if they make another call up the middle. Don't think they want to probably put it in the air and risk a, uh, a pick six. See if they can manage this clock. So far, sweeps have not been effective for the Tomahawks. They've run up the middle and, and done some slot passing. It's been working quite well for them. Looks like uh, we're going one wide receiver left. That's 47, Nathan Garrison. Ron Traeger off the left. Edkins in the backfield. Dilly under center. Quarterback keeper. Keeper's going to get around the outside here. Wow. He's going to make it around the corner, I think. No, no. They pull him down on the one, it looks like. Yes, one yard nice line. Run. First sweep of the day, been really effective. Good blocking on that left side by Garrison. Looks like he had Atkins out there. Marhog. Yeah, that, that uh, really opened up the uh, outside corner there. Dilly took it to his advantage and, and brought it down to the uh, two-yard line of Edgewood and moved the chains once again. First down on the Edgewood two. Yep. First and goal. Good run by Troy Dilly under center. First time he's really seen some space outside. I think uh, the Cougars were expecting a run up the middle again. And a little bit of play optioning by the uh, head coach, Fred Von Traeger. He's got first and goal. Ooh, Dilly got tripped up Looks under like center. Looks in for the TD. Into Bryce for the TD, definitely. You know, that was Dilly got tripped up by the center when he was coming back to hand the ball off. He was falling down and just shoveled it over to Bontrager, saved the play, and ran it in, in the end zone. Yeah, great pickup by Bontrager running forward. Fortunately, it didn't go behind him and create any issues. So 
Dakota Tomahawks now are up uh, 14. Minute 30 left in the half. Yeah, two-point conversion here. They hurry to the line. Looks like a power set with Ekins in the backfield. Garrison off to the right. And it is to Edkins. He gets stood gets up at the line, but he gets a final push in. Gets a nice push. Got 85 Brillhart calling the conversion. Umpire agrees. Dakota Tomahawks team 14, fifth grade white, is now up 16-0 on the Edgewood Cougars with under a minute to play. sure we'll be able to get another playoff here with the conversion. Cougars might get one last shot. 30 seconds, 35 seconds left Number in the half. Edgewood to the line quickly, quarterback shotgun. Number 37 enters for the Tomahawks. Billy Bear on the right side of the line. Probably the last play for the game. Bryce. I'll try to up the middle, misdirection. Some pressure, Steven Addison once again. There you go. Player of the game, number 66, Steven Addison makes a Tackle for a loss of five yards. Folks, I think that's going to be it. We got the nine seconds, eight seconds. They're trying to get one last snap. So they might get it. Yeah, they are going to get one snap around the end to uh, 32. Coming around the left 32 side. 32 again, Anthony Scott. Tackled by uh, 24, Troy Dilly. Troy Dilly. Folks, that's it. The final. Lakota Tomahawks, team 14, fifth grade white. 16 points. Edgewood Cougars, fifth grade. Zero. From Lakota West Stadium, thank you. And welcome to Lakota West Stadium. We just finished the Wee Hornets being recognized and brought in to join us for this invitational game. And now we're going to have Lakota Tomahawks Team 11 head coach Greg Couch going to lead them on. And here we got number one, David Jones Jr. Doing a little move for us. Coming down now is number three, Jacob Dubord. Number four coming down. Andrew Diley, one of the new boys on the team. Number five, not stopping, but it's Alex Epstein. Number six rolling through. Looks like he's not going to play today, but number six, Luke O'Connor. Number seven, Hayden King. Number nine, Tony Magooch. And number 11 rolling down. One of the Brickles boys, and that's Nathan. Number 12, we have Bane Allen. And running down, little Nathan Hochter coming down. Let's see the move he can make. He does like to dance normally. Can't even figure out where to go. Number 15, Trey Couch. Number 17, Thomas Skoog. He makes a little west sign, I think. Number 18, Aiden Minix. Coming down right now is Johnny McElhaney, otherwise known as Johnny Mac. Number 20 coming down, and you've got Christian Bogard. Number 23, making his uh, big move over there is Jared Wilcox. Little cartwheel, somersault, stays on his feet. Griffin Kling brushing off the dust. Number 25 is Nick Brickles, otherwise known as Nikki Six. Number 28, Colin Shiver. Running down the field is Zach Ogletree. Number 55, Aaron Thomas. And last but not least, for Tomahawks Team 11 is John Doyle, number 81. All right, so that's your Team 11, Lakota Tomahawks, sixth grade. Looks to be a lot of fun. We've got all the coaches out here today, 
Looks like a beautiful, beautiful day right here in the uh, lovely world of Lakota West Firebird Stadium. And if you're looking at the flag, we've got quite a gust of wind pretty much all day and keeping us quite brisk, except for the two of us in the booth. It's going to be beautiful in here. It's a nice 70 degrees. All right, and joining me in the booth, I've got Scott, and this is Dave Epstein bringing you the game. It's going to be, I believe it's two running halves for the Invitational today. Yeah, I believe it is. So that'll be a lot of fun. It'll be, I think, 25-minute running quarters. I've said halves, not quarters. So we'll have a lot of fun here, see a lot of plays. Hopefully they can get the plays in and out pretty quick. And I think they're going to mix it up a little bit. This is our sixth grade teams. This is their last year. So uh, the coaches are going to have a little fun, let the boys play probably places they haven't always played before. So I'm not sure what the Wee Hornets will do, but I have a feeling they're in the same boat since seventh grade. Could go to junior high. All right, so getting set. we got about four minutes till game time. So sit back and relax. The captains are coming out on the field. And let's see if I can catch them all. I've got Aaron Thomas, number 55, Trey Couch, 15, number 7, uh, 7 or 17, can't tell yet, but 9, Tony Magooch, and we'll say it's 17, 17, yeah. 17 which is Thomas Scoob. All the rest, Griffin Kling's giving his uh, last minute spiel to the boys, getting them all fired up. He is our team captain, 24, Griffin Kling. We'll probably call his name quite a bit today. He uh, definitely has a lot of game in him. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, getting fired up. All right. Or they're just trying to keep warm. I don't know if you keep closer, but it'll just stay a little warmer. Uh, we've got uh, the Wee Hornets over there. Their captains are uh, number 65, I see, Kyle Mink. And I can't see any of the others. So I'm going in for the coin toss right now. I don't know where I'll be calling it here. Looks like they won the toss. And that is the Wee Hornets have elected to receive the ball, and the Tomahawks choose the north end zone. All right, shaking hands. So we've got number 99 also, Corey Parker, one of the captains. 